Okay guys, meet Otis. Uh, Otis is a pretty good dog. He was uh, rescued at a year old uh, by a friend of mine uh, named Susan, who's a vet. And uh, you know, he's, he's awesome. He, he likes to fetch, he likes to play, he's got a good disposition. But the one thing he doesn't like is he doesn't like uh, people or dogs being next to his food bowl. And so while Susan's out of town, I figured I would start working on that a little bit. So uh, the first thing I did is I took Otis outside and I made sure he got good and tired. Remember guys, I personally think that exercise is the most important thing in dog training. So after he got good and tired, you know, and was having fun with the other dogs, we did some obedience, and I was kind of sharpening up his responses to me telling him to sit and stay, you know, making sure that he kind of understands the relationship between us, where I do nice things for him, but ultimately, you know, he has to kind of do what I want. Uh, and so once I started getting him to the compliance level that I liked, I figured we would come in here and start doing some work with his food bowl. Now what I'm trying to convince Otis here is that being calm and patient leads to me putting stuff in that food bowl. Now I'm rewarding Otis for waiting. Watch, I'll drop some stuff in the food bowl and then I'll give him a treat, right? Okay, so he gets little treats along the way, then he gets all the food in the food bowl, and we just keep repeating that. And before you know it, if you're lucky, now I do say if you're lucky, you have a dog that not only doesn't resource guard around his bowl, but he's happy and uh, polite when people and dogs are around. 